Welcome to this video and today I'm going to talk about white labeling the live box streaming server. First let me tell you what is white labeling in the context of the live box streaming server. You all know that by having a live box streaming server you can professionally stream to streaming platforms and social media destinations. Additional to the apps and features provided by Livebox to enhance the user experience, now it has also come up with the white labeling prospect which enables you to change the server name, logo and access URL under your brand name. And by doing so, you can rebrand the Livebox and have your own streaming server setup. So this video is all about a new Livebox update on branding which is exclusive only on the higher end versions of Livebox and with this specification you can rebrand your server, playlist app, client portal or even IPTV station with your brand name and logo. To get started with this exciting rebranding avenue, you have to go to settings and under settings go to HTTP settings and here is the new update of Livebox which is branding settings. So this is where you can rebrand the live box. As for how Livebox is smooth and easy to handle when it comes to streaming and its settings, the same way it is as simple as that to rebrand the server with your brand, business or company name. Just upload a name and logo to get started with your own streaming server. So now let me show you the way to rebrand the Livebox server. To replace the Livebox server name with your brand name, just enter the name you want here. And a thing to be noted while giving your brand name is, the first letter should always be in uppercase and there should be no space or any special characters. So after giving your brand name, click on this button and here your warning says like are you sure want to change branding name and you can click ok. So now the brand name is changed successfully. And the server gets reloaded by itself and you can witness the change name in the places like here and then here and even the IPTV name is also replaced with the new name I have given. And the next here is the access URL name and here you can change the access URL to your directory that is the server. Just give a name relatable to your brand or your brand name itself and while giving an access URL name. It should always be in lowercase and contain only one word. So after entering the access URL name, click on this button and then click OK. So now the access URL to my directory is changed. So the next time when I'm going to access my server, I can log in my server just by giving my access URL name followed by my host name. And now let me move on to change the default server logo. To change the logo you have to first upload an image which should be in .png format and 170 x 28 pixels in dimensions. So to select an image from the files click on this select file button and here I am selecting this image as my new logo. The image file is added and now I am going to upload the image. Now the image is uploaded. The uploaded image can be selected and applied to the server by clicking the drop down menu. And after adding the image, I am clicking on this button. A dialog box to select the livebox features open where you can select the livebox features to replace the existing default logo. And after selecting, click on this change button. So now the logo is changed and you can Reload the server and now you can see the default server logo is replaced by the image I have given. So the logo is successfully changed and the next is branding list. Branding list can be used when you want to give your contact details in all the Livebox customer pages like 404 error page and the other similar pages like bandwidth limit, date expired, disabled and error page. You can just select the page given under this drop down menu 
and here on the 11th and 12th line you can change and give the contact number of yours and then click save so now the contact numbers are saved successfully so let me now go to that 404 error page so in this 404 page the contact number is saved likewise you can also change the contact number in all the other pages you just have to select the page and then change the number in the 11th and 12th lines then click save so in branding settings you can change the live box of a name logo access url and contact number and replace your brand items and there is also another concept in live box that adjoins to this white labeling concept that is apk builder so let me go to the apps dashboard and here in the app store i have installed the apk builder app so now i'm going to open and walk you through this app and here we have specifications to create mobile apps under livebox tv you can create a mobile apps for your livebox iptv setup and under single page app live streaming you can create a mobile app for your viewers to view your live streams and when you are going to create a mobile app for your livebox tv click on this create an app and in this app creation form you can give your app name display name and app description then for server url the app creation form will automatically read your server url and then in logo and icon you can browse and select files to set your app icon and logo so after filling all these details in the app creation form click on this generate app button and your mobile app creation process begins and when it says like click the below button to download apk you can click this button and your app gets downloaded in zip file format and then from your pc downloads you can extract the zip file and in this file you can use this testing apk file to test the app on your device and if you want to upload this mobile app on the play store you can use this release apk file so by uploading a mobile app on the play store the end users can download your iptv app and watch all your broadcasts right from their mobile devices and now let me move on to the single page app as for how you can create a mobile app for iptv the same way you can also create a mobile app for all your live streams so now click on this create an app filling this app creation form can be done in the same way i did while creating a live box tv app but there is a column which asks for stream id where you have to give the id you have created in multi cdn settings usually in live box the stream group is created with the streaming urls of the server channel which has a live streaming content running on it so if you want to create a mobile app for the viewers to view your live streams then create a streaming group with your server channel and then give the stream group id here in this column and after filling all these details click on this generate app the app is generated and when it says like click the below button to edit the files click on this button in here you have to do a few settings to replace the custom values so click on this drop down menu and if you select index html you can change the custom mail id and contact number and if you select team css you can change the theme background of your mobile app template so now let me select index html so this is the template of my mobile app as you change things under index html and theme css you can see the changes being reflected in your you can also see the way your app looks to the end user and now in index html you can give your address phone number email and website so in this html box if you scroll down a little bit you can find the text that says 
phone number, email, address or website inside the flower brackets. So replace those custom values with your contact details. Unlike address, for a phone number, email and website, you have to replace the custom values in the two places. If we take for a phone number, you have to replace your contact details in here and then in here. So after replacing the custom values, click on the update file. So here you can see the changes I have made and in the same way if you want to change the background color of your mobile app template, then you can select theme CSS. So here you can change the background, footer and other theme settings relatable to your mobile app designing. Suppose if you want to change the background color into black, you can give the color code for black in here and then give update file. So now you can see that my mobile app template color has changed. So after replacing the custom values and changing the background color, you can click on this generate APK to create your mobile app and your app gets downloaded in zip file format. Then you can extract the file and upload the app on the play store for your end users to experience your live streams right from their mobile devices. Well that's it on branding settings and apk builder and I hope you'd find this tutorial useful and for more updates on livebox keep checking on livebox.co.n